Hi guys, welcome you all to my channel Explore Edu TV. So the next topic in digital electronics is the number system conversion. So this is another important concept in digital electronics wherein we'll be learning different form of number system conversion in this particular subject. So please make a note of it. The notes are given down in the description box. You can download it from there. If you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, please do subscribe to my YouTube channel because many more videos on digital electronics are going to be out on my channel and also on other subjects which are definitely going to help you in your studies and understanding of the concepts. So please do not forget to like, share, subscribe to my YouTube channel, follow me on Instagram. My channel is Explore Edu to Teach. The links are given down in the description box. Also, a previous video has been already uploaded on Introduction to Digital Electronics. If you haven't watched that video, please go and watch it all because that is the basis for all the subjects that we are or all the topics that we are going to learn in this particular subject. So please go and watch it out in my digital electronics playlist and let's begin up with this particular topic. So as you can see on screen, there are a number of type of number system conversions we are going to cover. That is from binary to decimal, decimal to binary, binary to hexadecimal, hexadecimal to binary. Decimal to octal, octal to decimal, octal to binary and binary to octal. And finally, we are going to have a gate problem solved at the end. So do not skip the video, understand the entire video, make a note of it and then we'll try to apply it in the gate problem and uh, you'll be able to crack it for sure. So the first kind of number system conversion is the binary to decimal number system conversion. So if you look over here, we have a binary number and a decimal equivalent of it is asked to you. So how you're going to solve it is in this particular fashion. So this is a binary number which is given to me. The LSB part that is the least significant bit is going to start with 2 raised to 0. Why 2 raised to 0? Because it's a binary. So for binary as I told you the radix is 2 and hence we have 2 raised to 0. And as you move towards the MSB bit, the value of that 2 is going to keep on increasing. That is 2 raised to 0, 2 raised to 1, 2 square, 2 cube, 2 raised to 4. Now, you have to multiply. For example, 2 raised to 4 into 1, 2 cube into 0, plus 2 square into 1, plus 2 raised to 1 into 0, plus 1 into 1. You will get this entire summation value which will be equal to 21. Hence, this is the decimal equivalent of this binary number. I repeat, whenever a binary number is given to you and they ask you to find out the decimal equivalent of it, please make it a point that you are basically writing this particular binary number. The LSB part is getting associated with 2 raised to 0. 2 raised to 0 because the radix of the binary number system is 2. Therefore, the least significant bit will get 2 raised to 0. And as you move towards the most significant bit, that is the MSB, you'll have 2 raised to 1, 2 raised to 2, so on and so forth. Then multiply each digit with its weight and add all those values to get 21 as the final decimal value. I hope I'm very clear. Now we'll try to convert the same decimal equivalent into the binary. And how do you do it? I'll show you. So the next kind of number system is decimal to binary number system. In this what we are doing is we have this decimal equivalent given to us because the radix is 10 and you have to find out the binary number system. So what we are doing is we are taking this 21 over here and dividing this 21 by 2. Why are we dividing 21 by 2 and why did we multiply it by 2 over here because we are talking binary to decimal and decimal to binary. So binary has the radix 2 and hence we are going to multiply and divide the binary uh, I will say multiply and divide in a way that we can get the different equivalent of it. Okay. So let's consider this 21. If I divide by 2, 2 ones are 2 and 2 zeros are 0. So that you will get 2 into 10 is 20. Again, 2 5s is 10. 2 2s is 4. 2 1s is 2. So by the time you don't get the value 1 over here, you have to keep on doing this division and keep on finding the value over here. 
Now subtract this value from this value. 21 minus 20 is 1. 10 minus 10 is 0. 5 minus 4 is 1. 2 minus 2 is 0. And then the final binary equivalent will be 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. That is my binary equivalent. So to just give you idea on how to convert binary to decimal and next decimal to binary, we have this particular number system. So in this binary number system, 10101, you have to convert it into decimal equivalent. So what you're going to do is, the LSB part is going to be with 2 raised to 0 and the MSB part is going to be 2 raised to 4. Multiply each bit with its weight and find out the final answer. Next, you have decimal to binary. Now, in case of your decimal to binary, what happens is that you are going to divide this particular decimal number by 2. Okay, since it's a binary kind of number system. So, when you divide by 2, you get 10. 10 into 2 is 20. 2 5s are is 10. 2 2s are is 4. 2 1s are is 2. So, by the time you don't get 1, you have to keep on continuing this process and get from this part to this part, the MSV part. So this is the decimal to binary and binary to decimal. The next thing is the binary to hexadecimal number system. So what you're going to do in this kind of number system is basically in order to solve such kind of number system, you are going to start with this particular example that we have. So if you see over here, this is a binary number system given to you since the radix is 2. You have to find out its equivalent hexadecimal. So, in what you have to do in case of this is that you have to group the binary number in groups of 4 from the LSB. So, if you see over here, the value given is 1101010. So, it is 1101010. Now, if I start from the so just neglect this 0 for now, I'll tell you why this 0 put here. But if I start from the LSB and try to make a group of 4, if you see over here, I try to make this group of 4, what happens is that you have got 0, 1, 0, 1. Similarly, if I try to make a here a group of 4, I'll get only 3 bits. Hence, I'm adding a 0 over here to the MSB in order to get 4 bits group, which is the rule for this particular kind of number system conversion. And hence you have this value, equivalent value of this particular digital will be, decimal value will be 10 and 10 in terms of hexadecimal is 8. And this value is 6 and 6 in hexadecimal is 6 itself. Hence you have 6a in hexadecimal form. Next you have hexadecimal to binary. Now what you have to do is that, again the same thing, you have to split each hexadecimal digit into binary form in, in the form of 4 bits. So if you see, my A value is 10 decimal and each decimal value 10 is being given in the form of 4 bits. Similarly, 6 is a hexadecimal digit. Uh, it's a decimal number also. The binary form in the form of 4 bits will be 0, 1, 1, 0. And hence, finally, my hexadecimal to binary will be this and this. So I hope I'm very clear to you. In case of binary to hexadecimal, what we are doing is we are taking the binary number from the LSB, we are making groups of four and then we are getting the decimal equivalent of it. And from decimal, we are trying to find out is hexadecimal. Six remains six in hexadecimal, 10 remains a in hexadecimal. Hence, we have 6a, whereas in case of your hexadecimal to binary, the hexadecimal value will be given to you. You have to find out its decimal value. It's just the reverse process. And each decimal value will be given in the form of 4 bits. 10 is 1010. 6 can be written as 110. But since it's form of 4 bits, I'm putting a 0 as extra here. and trying to find out the answer. The next kind of uh, number system conversion is Decimal to octal number system. Now, if you see the decimal value is given over here, you have to convert into octal number system. So, when you look at the decimal value over here, you have to convert to octal number system. That means what you have to do is that the given number system, you have to divide by 8. 
if you see when I had to convert my decimal value to a binary value, I used to divide by 2. So since you have to convert to octal decimal system and in case of octal you have a, a, divide, um, a 8 and hence we are dividing this particular decimal number system by 8. Hence we have 2 ones are 2 and 2 6 are so 8 ones are 8 so you will get a remainder as 4 4 8 8 6 are 48 so you get 16 so 16 into 8 is 128 again 8 twos are is 16 now this is the least number that you have got over here you cannot divide this number further by 8 right so we are stopping here we are subtracting as we subtracted in the earlier case also 120 minus 120 is 0 16 minus 16 is 0 hence the value will be 200 0. that is the thing okay so since i was converting from decimal to binary i was dividing by 2 since this question is about converting decimal to octal i'm dividing by 8 next octal to decimal number system now what you have to do is that the given octal number you have to convert to decimal so so as i told you in case of binary to decimal the LSB bit you have to give the value as 2 raised to 0. So similarly here, the LSB bit you have to give the value as 8 raised to 0, 8 raised to 1 and 8 square. That is, from the LSB towards the MSB, you have to keep on increasing the weights of 8. If you remember, in case of my binary to, uh, you know, decimal number system, what we used to do is that we used to give the weight to each bit at 2 raised to 0, 2 raised to 1, 2 raised to 2. But since it is octal to decimal number system, we are giving the weightage to each bit as 8 raised to 0, 8 raised to 1, 8 square, so on and so forth. Now multiplying each digit with its uh, weight is 2 into 8 square, else will be 0, 0 and finally you have the value 128. And hence the bin uh, octal equivalent in case of decimal is 128. Divide uh, and the radix is 10. I hope I'm very clear. The next number system is the octal to binary number system. Now, what we are doing octal to binary is that we are writing each digit in octal number system form of three bits. See, in case of hexadecimal, no, we have four bits. So, when we had a hexadecimal to binary, we were representing each digit or each digit by four bits. But in case of my octal, you know, in, but in case of my octal to binary, I am going to split my each digit in three bits. Whereas in case of my hexadecimal, I was uh, splitting in form of four bits. So two can be written as this, five can be written as this, six can be written as this, four can be written as this in terms of its binary. How to convert a particular decimal to binary, I have already taught you. Uh, and you will get the final value. So again I am repeating, when it was hexadecimal to binary, I was representing each digit by 4 bit. But since it is octal to binary, I am representing each bit with, each digit with 3 bits. Okay. So if you just remember one, else everything can follow. Again binary to octal. If you remember in case of binary to hexadecimal, I was forming 4 bits, right? But in case of binary to octal, I will be forming 3 bits. So, I am just taking the entire number. I am dividing it in form of 3 bits. Okay. And finding out is decimal equivalent. So, I guess uh, it should be 4652. Okay. There is a mistake over here. I am sorry for that. It should be 4652 and the value is 8. Similarly, now let us solve a gate problem. This is one of the most uh, like popular kind of problem which come in gate. On whatever we have learned, we will try to ap apply over here. So, before we solve this particular problem, let us first um, do a quick revision. So, there are different kind of number system conversion. Few of them is binary to decimal. Binary to decimal, you are going to just note down the binary value. Associate from the LSB weight of 2 raised to 0, 2 raised to 1, 2 raised to 2 towards the MSB, multiply each bit with its weight and find out the final decimal value. Decimal to binary will be, you have a decimal value, you are going to divide the decimal value by 2 each time 
I'm going to use this particular process. Then you're going to get the final binary value. Then the binary to hexadecimal will be you're going to group each. You have to group. You are going to group this particular binary number from the LSB towards the MSB in group of four. Final decimal and then the hexadecimal value. Similarly, hexadecimal to binary will be. You have this hexadecimal value. You are going to convert this hexadecimal value into its decimal form, and the decimal form into its binary form, and try to find out the answer. Okay, so you had this hexadecimal form. Hexadecimal you are going to convert to decimal, and from decimal you are going to convert to its binary form in the form of four bits. Try to find out the answer. So as I told, in terms in terms of decimal and hexadecimal, it was four bits. In terms of decimal and octal, it is three bits. Okay, so when you are going to convert the decimal into octal, like you converted decimal into binary, you are dividing by two. In case of octal, you are going to divide by eight. So one twenty. So you have sixteen into eight will be one twenty eight. Eight into two will be sixteen. You cannot divide this further by eight. So we are stopping here and we are getting the final answer. Similarly, when I want to convert the octal to decimal. I am going to start from the LSB towards the MSB, and this time it will be a, a weightage in the value of eight because octal. In case of binary, it is value of two. Octal to binary, if you know, if you know hexadecimal to binary, I was splitting each digit in four bits in case of hexadecimal. But in case of my octal, I am going to do in the form of three bits and try to find out the answer. Similarly, binary to octal again. I am going to start from LSB towards the MSB, each, and that's going to be grouping of three bits each, and try to find out the answer. Now we are going to solve a particular gate problem. I am going to see a question was asked as AB sixteen, that is hexadecimal conversion to octal number system. So how can you do this particular question? Is first try to reduce this hexadecimal to decimal. And then you can convert this decimal to octal. It can be a two-way process. So, this hexadecimal, if I want to convert into decimal, the way is to start from the MSB, LSB towards the MSB in the weightage of sixteen. Why sixteen over here? Because it's hexadecimal. In case of binary, it was two. In case of octal, it was eight. Since it's hexadecimal to decimal, it is sixteen ka weightage. Sixteen raised to zero. Sixteen raised to one. Into eleven because B stands for eleven in terms of decimal, A stands for ten in terms of decimal, and we are getting the final value. Now this particular decimal we have to convert into octal, so we are going to divide this particular number by eight. In case of binary, we divide it by um, two. In case of hexadecimal, we will divide it by sixteen. But since it is octal, we are going to divide by eight. So eight two za is sixteen. One eleven will remain, so eight ones are, so to so the twenty one into eight will be one sixty eight, and again eight twos are sixteen, and try to find out the answer. One seventy one minus one sixty eight is three, twenty one minus sixteen is five, and then you have two fifty three as the value. So I hope I'm very clear. So how you're going to convert this particular hexadecimal value? Into octal number system is very 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 important. So this is one particular method. I hope you like this particular video. I have tried my best to explain you the different kind of number system and explain you a problem also on uh, it. So we have tried to cover a lot of things. If you like the video, please comment in the comment section. Share it to as many people as you can can get benefit out of it. Uh, please do like, share, subscribe to my YouTube channel, follow me on Instagram. The links are given down in the description box. The notes are also present. So please download the notes also.